Stratovolcanoes have steep slopes and often a nice cone shape, like Mount Shasta we see here. The other type of volcanoes is the shield volcano, which has smooth slopes. A well-known example of a shield volcano is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Stratovolcanoes often erupt explosively. The magma of stratovolcanoes contains a lot of gas which is under pressure. When the magma exits the volcano, the pressure is released in the form of explosions. The explosions produce volcanic ash that can rise several tens of kilometers into the atmosphere. Sometimes eruptions at stratovolcanoes occur without explosions and produce very thick lava flows, so-called block lava flows or lava domes. We see here a thick lava flow at Glass Mountain in California. And here another thick flow next to South Sister in Oregon. Since these flows are short and very thick, they can produce a steep sloped edifice when several of them are stacked on top of each other. This is one reason why stratovolcanoes often have a steep cone shape. Stratovolcanoes are basically the result of such thick lava flows on top of each other with loose volcanic material in between that is produced during explosive eruptions. Stratovolcanoes are very dangerous. The ash clouds of an erupting stratovolcano can suddenly collapse and form an avalanche several hundred degrees centigrade hot and several hundred kilometers per hour fast. These avalanches are called pyroclastic flows and they incinerate everything that stands in their way. A famous example of a pyroclastic flow is the flow that covered the ancient Roman city of Pompeii in the year 79 when Mount Vesuvius erupted. Have you ever been on a stratovolcano? Let me know in the comments on which stratovolcano you have been.